What's up guys, Dane Johnson here. And through the years, I've been deathly scared going on vacation, fear of going to a restaurant or losing control by bowel movements or being in pain the whole time, not being able to eat what my friends and family are eating. So these are the top five things I've been able to do to be able to keep myself happy, healthy, uh, reduce the chances of getting food poisoning or having those uh, serious reactions. And, and through the years, it's really helped me travel the world. So number one, Always travel to somewhere where there is local organic food and preferably a lot of sunshine. This helps to make sure that you're eating quality sources of food that are less likely to give you an inflammatory reaction. Uh, sometimes it seems that these islands are great to travel to but they have very little organic food because all of the produce must be imported. So usually on um, the main continents where there are local farms are the best places such as Me Mexico or Southern California. Number two is to bring customized supplements that you know keep you healthy and reduce the chance of having an inflammatory reaction or flare. So there are five different types of supplements I usually bring on vacation. Number one is an anti-inflammatory, and that reduces inflammation in your body, it reduces arthritis, helps your body stay light and easy. Number two is an anti-pathogen, something that can help kill waterborne or foodborne illnesses. Number three is a binder, and that soaks up toxins and helps your body get them out. Number four is a digestive enzyme to make sure you can break down all that mixture of carbohydrates and fats and proteins when you're eating at restaurants. Number five are mucosal healers, things that soothe the gut, reduce leaky gut, and help you absorb all that vacation food. Check out the products I bring on vacation below. Number three, go to bed early and wake up early. I know this is not a popular rule on vacation, but I found that everything I actually want to do to feel great and have great memories is early in the morning. Things like jet skiing or boating, things like going on a run or going sightseeing. All this stuff is stuff you want to do in the day. I found that most things that I do late at night, I come to regret. So I love to go to bed early and wake up early and really optimize my vacation days. Number four, if you can't squish it, don't eat it. So when I go to restaurants and I'm unsure if I can handle certain foods, I make sure that I stay away from seeds, skins, gluten, and inorganic processed foods. This way it increases absorption and reduces inflammatory response. It's a great way not to be on a diet, but also reduce the risk of you having a nasty reaction with food. If you feel you are gonna have a reaction, use some of those digestive enzymes and maybe even the anti-pathogen afterwards to help control the negative reaction you get from things like oysters or sushi or raw fish or different things you might eat while on vacation. And last but not least, tip number five is staying away from alcohol. Now I know that is also not a popular rule, but if you stay away from alcohol, you're more likely to feel better, to wake up early, to see more, to have more fun and come back from vacation feeling nourished. Many times when I was on vacation, I felt like I needed a vacation from my vacation because of being hung over or eating bad foods and staying out late. All of a sudden I felt almost worse when I got back than when I left. So staying away from alcohol is something I love to do, but if I'm going to have alcohol, I stay away from alcohol containing gluten and alcohol that is high in sugar. So margaritas and table wines and uh, beer, all of these have yeast and gluten and high sugar and are more likely to cause a fermentation in the body and cause more of an inflammatory reaction, making your immune system flare up also to increase arthritic pains and headaches and not feeling good or looking good. So one of the best things you can do is limit your alcohol consumption or get rid of it um, or just stay away from high sugar or high gluten foods. If you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe. It greatly helps the channel. See you guys next time.